Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem largest binary search. So we are given a binary tree and we need to find the SARS of the largest subtree that is a binary search tree. Okay. So it can be thought of like this that you are given an array and you need to find a subarray. So let us first understand that what do we mean by binary search tree. So a binary search tree that is BST is a tree that has the left subtree as so let us first understand what is binary search tree which is commonly abbreviated as BST. So in a binary search tree we need to maintain some rules in a tree. Like suppose there is a root and there is a right child and a left child. So the right child should be greater and the left child should be smaller itself. This is how you need to proceed. And all the subtrees of this that is left and all the subtrees of this that is right should also follow this. That the right child should be greater and the left child should be smaller itself. But now let me give you some examples of binary search tree. Suppose we have 5 and the left child is 3 that is smaller and the right child is greater that is 7 itself. These are some examples of binary search tree. Now let us proceed with this. So we are given that we need to find the subtree which is a binary search tree. So let us take the screenshot of this. And let us do an analysis over this. So, yes. Now, we would say that we would go to this. But the left is not small, but it is greater. So, we know that this is not valid. So, we need to look for lower ones. So, this is not valid. So, now we are looking for this. So this is valid because there is no left and no right. So, this is a binary search tree with a size of 1. So, answer up till now is 1. And then we would mark it as correct. Then we would go here and here this side also we need to go on the left hand side which is not smaller. So this is not true because one condition is broken and then this is not a BST. And we would go here. Yes, this is a BST. Yes, this is a BST. So by this example only we can see that the worst answer would be 1 in the case of leaf node. Okay. Let us do an analysis over the second sample test case. Now we would take the root itself. We would take the root, then we would suppose for this root, we would go to the left. Left is not smaller, so this is not true. Then we would go to this. Left is not, there is no left, so it would be true for left part, but for the right part, it should be greater. So this is also not true. Then we would go here, okay. So left side is greater, so this is also not true. Then we would go for this. The right, the left part is not there. So it is true. The right part is there and it is greater. So yes, it is true. So the answer up till now is to itself. Why? Because it has this. So next we would go for this also. The right part is not greater, rather it is smaller. So this is also not true. Then this is true. This is true. This is true because we know that the leaf nodes are true itself. So the maximum value we have got is 2 and 1 out of which the maximum value is 2. That is why the output to this is 2 itself. Okay. So now from evaluating the sample test cases only, we can say that for each root node, we can go and check if it is a BST or not. Then we would go down and we would take up another root. Like I would just show you. Suppose we would go here and we would see if the lower ones are BST or not. Suppose this is a BST subtree or not. And then we would again check for this. This is a BST subtree or not. Basically, I want to say that I will check every node root and check that it is a subtree of a subtree of a BST or not. And I will check for all of them. The biggest answer will be our answer. This is what we can do. So, we can consider each. Okay? We can consider each node. And then, Check each node, check for BST. So we would just check if each node is for the BST or not. 
Fair enough. We can do this. So for doing this, for each node, we would be standing. Suppose we are standing at the root node. Okay. Suppose this is this, this is this, and this. Suppose we are standing at the root node. Then we would go this, 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 this. So for one node, so for one node, in the worst case, we are doing n operation. So if there are n nodes, then we would multiply n on both sides. So for n nodes, we would be doing n square operations. And the number of nodes is how much? The number of nodes is till 10 to the power 5. So if we multiply 10 to the power 5 with 10 to the power 5, then this is 10 to the power 10, which won't pass. Okay. And the desired time complexity is also big of. So we need to think of something better. We need to think of something better. So let's move forward. So moving forward, we can think of that. Can we build up the solution? Suppose we went at the top. So we have no information at the downside. That is why we are moving down. And then we are again checking for the downside. Then we are again standing here again, changing for the downside. Instead of doing this, suppose we have a structure like this. Okay. See it very carefully. Dhyan se dekhna ye baat. Uppar se ja rahe hain. To sara pahalu phir se check karna padta. Asa nahi kar sakte. Ki niche se hi jana suru kare. Ki uppar wale ko jo jo information lage. Wo me pahale se hi save rakhu. So what I'm trying to do is tell us. If I'm coming from the top. Then I am trying to see every dimension. Then again from this I am trying to see every dimension. So what I can do is. I can start from the bottom itself. Suppose this is bottom, this is bottom. Then we would, e suppose we stand here and then we have information of the left and the right. So we don't need to go to the left and the right. Rather we can save it somewhere. And then we can say that yes, the left part and the right part constitutes of this. We can say that. And then we would come here. Now this one and this one would tell me this and this. And then the, we would come here. Now all this one and this one would build up the solution for this. And this is the solution. So what are the things we basically need to check if the lower ones is a valid condition for BST or not. So if the lower ones are valid condition for the BST, then let us write the condition. Left should be smaller and the right should be larger. These are the two conditions. And the next condition is that the lower subtree should also be, suppose, which is a proper candidate for a BST. When left is also, when left is also possessing the properties of BST, right is also possessing the properties of BST. And for this also, the left is, left is small and the right is large. If all this condition is true, then we can call it a BST. मतलब मैं बोलना ये चाह रहा हूँ कि एक रूट है और इसका लेफ्ट है इसका राइट है लेफ्ट और राइट दोनों बीएसटी है होने के बाद भी इधर साइड वाला छोटा है इधर साइड वाला बड़ा है सो ये एक प्रॉपर कैंडिडेट बनता है एक बीएसटी का सो वी नीड टू नो इफ लेफ्ट बीएसटी और नॉट राइट इज अ बीएसटी और नॉट लेफ्ट इज बीएसटी राइट इज बीएसटी लेफ्ट का स्मॉल राइट इज लार्ज if all these conditions are true, then we can say that yes, this is a BST and then we can move forward as this is not BST. So what we would do is we would do the same thing here. We would design a struct, okay, user defined data structure where we would store the minimum, we would store the maximum, okay. And then we would store the boolean also. We would store the boolean that if it is true, if this tree is a subtree or not, because we need to know left and the right. Okay. Left, right. So for constituting for a particular route, we need to know the left and the right maximum as well as minimum. And then we need to know if this is true or not, if this is true or not. So these all conditions are valid. So now, Suppose this is not applies for a BST. If this not apply for a BST, then the answer for this, because it might be the case that suppose 
only this part follows the property of BST. Then the answer to this would be three. Then the answer to be this would be three. That is why we need to know the maximum size coming from the bottom. So we would also have a size. Okay. And then we would constitute from the bottom itself. Now let us start coding it and then you would get a proper hint of it. But before coding it, we would solve it using recursion. So if we are solving it using recursion, let us start thinking of the base case first. So what is a base case? If that is a tree problem, then the first base case you should think of is the case when that is null. So when there is nothing to be compared, then it should be true. That is, yes, this is a true value. Next, we go down and the minimum does not is not valid. Maximum is not valid and the size should be equal to zero. Because now there is nothing to compare, side should be zero and yes, there, if there is nothing to compare, then it can be called as a BST because we are comparing nothing. The base case is now done. For the intermediate case, for the intermediate case. So for the intermediate case, what we would do is, if maximum of left, okay, left max, left max should be done here. Left max should be smaller than root okay and minimum from right minimum from right should be greater than the root if these all condition is true and from both side it is a bst then we would update the value as what well. suppose this is bst this is following the properties of bst this is following the properties of this suppose we have 5 4 and 7. Then suppose this is a BST, this is a BST because they are leaf node and this is also a BST. If all these are BST, then the value would be left plus right plus 1. Left plus right plus 1. So if all these conditions are satisfied, that left is BST, right is BST and these two conditions are satisfied, then the size would be left plus right plus 1. This is what we would do. The intermediate case and the base case is done. Now let's think of the return type. What we can do is we need to return the size only. So we can directly return in terms of struct and then we can just print the size of it because it would also store the size, maximum size because we saw that yes, it would be stored. So all the conditions are fulfilled. Now let us start the coding part itself. Now let us start coding the struct. So I would just struct, struct new, okay, NW to make it small, okay. And then we would have as a int as z that is it would store the size. Then, then we have int mn that would store the minimum. Then we have int mx that would store the maximum size. And int ok that yes, this value is true or not. This is a BST or not. Okay, this particular node is a BST or not. This would store all the informations. Okay, and then we would return a struct as so. So we would struct nw. And then we would just have a name it as BST and then we would pass the root itself. But we need to just write it here. Node star root. Okay. Now the first case where the root is none. Okay. So now let us start with first writing the base case. Before writing the base case, we know that we need to return the value null. If it is null, we need to return the value 0, mx, min, and size of 0. So why not make a struct like this? Okay, this would be treated as an answer thing. Let us name it as the answer thing only. Struct n new w is equals to answer. Now, if root is equals to null, that means if not of that is true, if it is null, then not of that would be true, then answer dot size is will be equal to 0 then answer dot minimum is equals to 1 e a. Let's take a very large value where even the largest minimum, we would be able to catch it. Next, we would be writing the mx value. So it should be so small that even the smallest maximum should be able to catch it. Now answer dot ok is equals to true because for the null value it is true. And then we would simply return the answer variable from this point if it is null. Else, we would move forward and now we have a blank answer. Next, what we would do is we would recurse for the left and the right part. 
shot nw l is equals to bst of root dash left itself okay and then we would simply copy this and convert from l to r okay we have converted from l to r and then we would go to right part so now we have results for the left and the right part so in the first thing if we have a bst on both left and right that l dot ok is true and and right or ok is true if both are true then only we would move forward okay and then what we have written let us see okay so if maximum dot left okay left dot maximum is less than u okay so l dot mx is less than the root dot data if this is true and the left and the right part is also should be true so r dot mn okay r dot mn is greater than root dash data itself if all this is true then we would be incrementing the size with adding the root so answer dot size is equals to l dot size plus r dot size plus one the from both the side plus the root itself okay then answer dot mn is equals to minimum from all of them that is root dot data first one then l dot mn and then r dot mn okay so minimum and then we would request for the maximum so answer dot mx is equals to max of root dash data and then l dot mx okay and then r dot mx2 okay we have recurs for the left and the right part for the minimum as well as for the maximum okay now we know that if it is true for left and right and even for the root then what we would do is answer dot okay would be equal to true if this is not the condition then we would simply take the maximum from either left or right so answer dot size is equals to max of l dot sz and r dot sz okay we would take the maximum from both sides and answer dot okay would be false because this subtree is not a valid one and answer dot mn is equals to 1e7 let's take a very large value or oh, let's take okay let's take 1e7 only okay doesn't make a difference answer dot mx okay answer dot mx would be as low as possible and then we would simply return the answer variable then we would now pass okay bst okay return bst of root okay dot size let us compile this and see if we are getting a correct for sample test case or not and yes we are getting correct for the sample test case now let us submit this and yes we got an ac that's it for today thank you and have a nice day